Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's Tech Tip Videos. I'm Brian, and today we will be looking at one particular lockout code on one particular model. That's right, there is only one boiler in our line that will give the error code all lights flashing, and that would be our CGA boiler. In particular, CGA Series 2 and Series 3 running on liquid propane gas. You will not see this lockout on CGA Series 1 or any CGA running on natural gas. CGA Series 1 will not have this code because we did not offer a spark ignited version for LP gas on that unit. However, the Series 2 and 3 are spark ignited LP boilers. And this presents a very specific problem that does not apply to any other boiler we make. If an atmospheric LP boiler fails to light and continues trying to light, LP gas can accumulate near the floor since LP is heavier than air. So, we must do a hard lockout when this happens. If the pilot does not light within 15 seconds, the pilot valve closes and the spark generator is turned off. The control waits one minute, then attempts to ignite the pilot again. After the first failed ignition retry attempt, the control module will attempt to ignite the pilot two more times with a five minute wait period after the second try and a 60 minute wait period after the third try. If the ignition control does not sense pilot flame during these trials, it will lock out the boiler and require a manual reset procedure to allow further attempts. The primary reason for this is so homeowners do not continuously cycle power on the boiler to get it to light. If you find one of these boilers in this condition, cycling the power will not reset the boiler. You must follow the reset procedure in order to get the boiler to start the ignition process again. Be sure the area is clear of accumulated LP gas before performing the reset. You will need to locate the test button on the control module located next to the connection for the outdoor sensor. Then make sure the economy knob is turned fully counterclockwise. Now push and hold the test button and turn the economy knob fully clockwise, then fully counterclockwise, and release the test button. The boiler is now ready to attempt ignition again. So, at this point, it's time to determine why the boiler did not light. Obviously, you will need to follow the troubleshooting procedure from the manual, but the most common cause of ignition failure in these situations is an empty LP tank. So make sure you check the incoming gas pressure and purge the gas line if the tank has been refilled. Well, Thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful and be sure to download our Pro Tools app. It has everything you'll need to help diagnose and repair Wild McLean products along with lots of other features.